This weekend, one kid exchanged one set of wheels for another and hit the racetrack in Athens. Channel 3's Angela Kim has it covered. We've got racers that are pharmacists, doctors, everything. Every year, Zeke Hembry straps on his helmet, grabs his silk box, and hits the racetrack. And I wouldn't give up today to race for just about anything. This is the case for every soapbox derby racer in Athens, but Zeke's story is a bit different. And we got a handbrake out of a master's car to put it into a stock division and now a super stock division. Zeke is paralyzed from the waist down. After racing one year in a division for children with special needs, Zeke decided he needed more. He was just following me around begging me saying, please let me drive, please let me drive. Soapbox Derby director Austin Fessmeyer and Zeke's father helped create a special car where Zeke can control the brake with his upper body. That same year, Zeke's drive for success got him to the world championships. I was the first kid in 81 years to run a hand brake in a stock division car in Akron, Ohio. Fessmeyer says Zeke's inspired many children with his racing. Now that I can see that he can do it, I know I'm capable too. I've had parents tell me, you know, this is the first time our child has been normal or been equal like that. So that's, that's what drives us. Hembry just hopes he can inspire many kids while making it to the world championships a few more times. The aspect of racing and uh, being a good sport and showing other people and trying to, trying to teach them how they could be a, a good sport and uh, teach them how to race. Reporting in Athens, Angela Kim, Channel 3. Eyewitness News.